So guys, you remember I had that scare when I thought that there was a big pile of outside the garage, but it's just the plastic inlay from a box of chocolates. Well, I came along today, and now there's an actual pile of Disgusting. Yeah, it's just, it's just like, it's good here, isn't it? It's great. Um, yeah, anyway. So today, uh, I can't moan. I mean, I got this little shed and it's 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 perfect. Um, to have something like this in the middle of the city is like is amazing. Uh, so yeah, today, handbrake, cables, um, probably the, I'd say, yeah, probably the biggest job they actually failed the inspection on. So um, yeah, she's mostly there now. So this is, this is the main thing we have to do. Uh, yeah, so the cables, or well, the cable arrived from Polar Parts this morning. Yeah, really great company, Germany based. I'm not sure if they ship internationally. Um, but yeah, they're like, they're really good, really good prices, really fast. Um, everything I order, it's always the next day, it's at the door, like they're really, really good. Uh, so yeah, um, so that's here. So yeah, let's get it fitted, I guess. Um, I guess I'm a little bit hesitant to, I'm a little bit reluctant to, because I hate brake shoes. I hate brake shoes. So yeah, we want to see what's going on in here. I don't really know how to take this off. Oh yeah, that's nice. Yeah, it just spins by hand. Oh, that's really nice. I think that's the easiest I've seen ever. See, so we just want to back this all the way off. It's going to make replacing the cable easier. And we can set it afterwards. We'll set it at the wheels first. The handbrake. Get it to where it wants to be. And then we come up to the front. And just tweak it up. So let's have a look. Um, yeah, I've got a scissor jack here, but there's an axle stand under the axle. So um, I'm not being totally reckless. Things are always too tight, aren't they? These caliper bolts. Yeah, I do have a, a bar that I can use. But it's in the 240. It's the problem with having too many cars. So on the back, you got one bolt there and another below it. Where the spanner's going on to now. But you can't get a socket in there on a ratchet, so you need to use a spanner, I believe. Yeah, my socket wouldn't go on there anyway, my ratchet. So yeah, with those two out, Caliper should come off. Yeah, so I mean, what do you think of that for? Ugh. Spiders. Two of them. There's two spiders in there. How do they live in there? These brakes, brakes get up to like, what is it, 300 degrees? How is there spiders living inside it? Oh, disgusting. Man. Oh. There was like three in there. Three spiders. So maybe the car's infested. 
anyway. So yeah, what do you think of that? What do you think of that for, yeah, failure, below legal limit, below minimum pads. Yeah, right, crazy. So yeah, if you didn't watch my previous video on what this car failed on or would have failed on, um, yeah, go check that out in these discs as well, they're like new. Anyway, enough of that. We've been there, done that. We only need to do the cables now. So, Yeah, I've got a girl's hammer as well, so it's not it doesn't really help. Um I'm gonna try something. Uh, it's a good way to remove wheels as well. If you've got your wheels are stuck on and you can't remove them. If you hit them the back of the wheel with a block of, of wood, um, normally freeze it off quite easily. Um, yeah, it's better than like kicking it with your feet, you know, jumping around like a monkey uh, yeah, on the side of the road. But obviously, not everyone has a hammer and a block of wood in their car, so um, me included. So fast, look. We got a bit of dust in there, but first impressions. The shoes look good, which is a relief, obviously, because there was the potential that I would take these off and have worn shoes. But no, they look really good. I mean, it's 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 only for the handbrake on these, so pff, uh, they probably last a lifetime. I can't see why they'd ever need to be replaced um, unless you go around driving with the handbrake on. You know, um, we've all done it. Yeah, they're just like a nuisance shoes. Handbrake shoes, brake shoes in general. I don't like them. If you want to unhook, unhook them from their retaining springs, clips. So long since I've done shoes. <laughs> More spiders, oh, spiders everywhere. Yeah, so obviously I'll probably never end up being able to get that back together. Um, yeah, pulling them off is the easy part. It's getting it back on is the tricky part. Uh, but in any case, this end goes through here. So then what we have on this side some kind of pin so yeah said pin just pulls out just pushes through with the screwdriver yeah don't lose that I'm gonna put it somewhere there where I'm gonna lose it um, and then this just slides out the pin goes directly through there yeah apologies it's a bit shadowy and a bit here um, and even tells you which way is up as well so it's it's idiot proof um, but we'll probably still end up getting it wrong. Okay, so cable slides out. And uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and get it disconnected on the other end. From the back of the car, 
at the uh, the diff. So we've got the mechanism here, and then we've got where our right side cable, the one we're changing, joins joins the party, and obviously that being your left side cable, and then your mechanism here, um, and then from there runs to the front of the car. So yeah, basically we need to take this little pin out, a bit of wire, whatever it is, um, and then yeah, obviously then that just slides out. But luckily for us, or for me, the rest of it came out. Because obviously if that breaks off in there, yeah, it's just a bad time, isn't it? So that just pushes up, he says. And out. So then the cable's free. And there we go. Yeah. Didn't have that long left, did it, this one? So we take our new cable. And then leave it there. Um, I'm not going to put the pin in it yet because this little guy here because if I put this pin in now I'll probably forget to put a fresh clip through the little hole to keep it secured so I'm just going to leave it so yeah I don't actually have a handbrake until I do it properly basically because yeah I'll definitely forget so I'm just going to put A bit of grease on this cable just to keep it sliding properly in and out of that boot right so yeah uh of course, this is going to take me ages to figure out how this goes back together, so, um, yeah, cue the time lapse, I guess. Does anybody want to buy a 940? Does anyone want a free 940? They just keep coming out of everywhere. <laughs> Please, no more, no more f spiders. Am I the one for you? You're not by my side. I feel like skipping town. You're not down the ride. says up 
and there's an arrow pointing upwards. But that I've just checked the pictures I took before I actually pulled it all apart and it was the other way around. This mechanism was in the wrong way. So yeah, I don't know unless, either I don't know which way up is or they weren't installed right. Yeah, strange. Well, let's try it anyway. So yeah, what I, what I actually did, um, obviously the camera's on the other side so it didn't record it, but I got a bit carried away as usual, but I hooked the spring in on this side, both sides first, and then just pulled it, stretched the spring a bit, um, yeah, pulled on the shoes, and then took this bar and hooked the bar in afterwards, so spring first, then the bar, um, just yeah, opened it up, one side in, the other side in, down. Um, hopefully, we're good to go. Yeah, I'm sure that was on the other way around before. Unless I'm tripping out, I, I, I don't know. Can it go on the other way around? I don't know. Well, let's see anyway. I think maybe that's it. Maybe, maybe. Um, yeah, I can't really how to it as such because I don't really know what I'm doing. As you probably saw, I'm just kind of like fighting with shit until it goes on. It's been about 10 years since I did brake shoes, so yeah then you don't come to me for how-to videos, you come to me for like just general, just bull Yeah, so I mean pulling on the cable. Seems functional. And just to help out either myself or the next guy a little bit. Just want it to be a smoothish surface, and then tiny little bit of grease. It doesn't have to be a cake. Just a bit so that the disc comes off easier next time. So there's no hammers and blocks of wood required for disassembly. It's good enough. All right, this one. So I'm actually using some water pipe pliers on this thing because it makes it a bit easier to do up. Storm's coming, but just before it does, uh, I'm gonna wrap the video up before I get soaked. So yeah, there we go. Um, I'm quite happy with that. She pulls quite tight, quite low down. Well, the, the lever's probably about as far as it can go when it's in the middle-ish, so that's good enough for me. I'm not sure the exact amount of clicks, um, yeah. It's, it, it's good enough, but obviously more importantly, it's going to be good enough for the... Uh... It's going to be good enough for the... Uh... 
it's going to be good enough for the the tester the tooth master inspector uh hopefully he's gonna be happy with that um i'm happy with it um obviously all we need to do now is just fire it out of here rip up the handbrake on a corner and make sure it is actually doing what it's supposed to be doing um no i better not my my mom actually watches these videos um actually more importantly my girlfriend's mom watches these videos until next time